All right, now, before I even begin with this replacement, I want to give a special shout out to Austin down there at the warehouse for requesting this video personally. For those that don't know much about the exhaust system or the catalytic converter, I'm going to try to explain the catalytic converter, its job and its main functions and what it does before I replace it so you can get an idea on what's going on. All right, now, in short, the catalytic converter is an emissions control device, and its job is to reduce the toxicity of exhaust gases coming from the engine and turn them into not so toxic gases exiting the tailpipe all right so the catalytic converter is attached to your exhaust system in the attempt to keep the atmosphere cleaner but it does nothing to actually benefit your vehicle so in fact the two main benefits in completely removing the catalytic converter from your vehicle are increased horsepower and better gas mileage along with a better sounding exhaust but that depends on who you ask but since removing the catalytic converter is illegal the second best thing you can do is replace it with the aftermarket counterpart because like all filters they eventually become clogged and when they do they negatively affect your engine's performance and now i'm gonna give you four major signs that it may be time for you to replace your vehicle's catalytic converter number one horrible gas mileage number two Noticing an intermittent rotten egg smell while driving at highway speeds. Number three, not being able to drive over 30 miles an hour. And number four, oh yeah, because nothing says car trouble like a beautiful check engine light. But enough of the boring stuff. Let's go get this bad boy installed right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this O2 sensor right here. It uses a 22 millimeter socket, or you can use an open end wrench, but I have a special socket designed for taking off O2 sensors. So this is gonna be my weapon of choice. All right, so next, I'm gonna just use a 14 millimeter box wrench and a 14 millimeter deep wheel socket and I'm gonna zip this band clamp off of here. All right, so normally what you see a lot of people do is when it comes to getting it out, they will try to take this off, take this U-bolt off and it breaks, it gives them all types of trouble and it's just not worth my time right now plus it's getting a little chilly outside and i gotta hurry this along so my weapon of choice is this quarter cable reciprocating saw with a diablo metal cutting blade It's out of there. I don't got time to be trying to unbolt this, this bolt right here because it's rusted on here and it becomes one with the actual catalytic converter. So to save myself time and to try to capture the attention span of my viewers, I opted out of doing that. You can do it if you want to, but I just cut right before it. There's still enough, there's still enough exhaust pipe for me to clamp the new one on there. The innards of a catalytic converter consist of a ceramic honeycomb substrate coated in expensive metals like palladium, rhodium, and even platinum. Having less sales per square inch than its OEM counterpart, this aftermarket catalytic converter doesn't filter as well as the original, but due to its less bulky and more open design, it allows for the exhaust to exit the engine at a faster speed. This in turn lowers the back pressure in the engine, which ultimately decreases the strain, optimizing fuel economy and increasing horsepower. I gotta run in here and get a band clamp real quick. Hold on. Use these. They don't bite into the exhaust pipe. All right, so I got a two and a quarter inch adapter right here. It's a connector because both opposing ends are two and a quarter. So they won't slip over each other or slip into each other 
So you need to get this connector. Fucking struggle. Oh. Alright, so right now I'm just applying this this uh leak proof sealer right here. And this is just designed to stop any leaks. What happens is when you cut it on. The heat from the exhaust melts this or welds this onto the actual exhaust um, connections and it becomes one with the exhaust system. So I use that right there. I'm gonna also put the band clamps back on it. left to do now is to put this O2 sensor back in the hole. That's it for the catalytic converter installation. As you can see, it wasn't too bad. It's not too bad of a job with recording. The installation took about an hour and 30 minutes. You can see it's now dark. But anyway, we got it all installed. So let's go check out how it sounds now. Yeah. 